what am I going to speak today about? And I'm going to speak about the most complex woman of the zodiac. She's a mystery, the Pisces woman. She's a complete, complete mystery. And if you are involved with the Pisces woman in any way, rather, if you are having an affair with her, if she's your wife, your daughter, you're going to know what she's all about. She's a woman who is, um, from a very young age, if you see, she has this kind of a charisma. She attracts lots of people. There is some kind of personal magnetism that the Pisces woman carries inside of her whenever you look at her you will feel like just protecting her she appears to be so fragile she appears to be so docile so submissive so shy at the beginning that you just feel like you know fathering her i would say or mothering her you just feel this little thing, how is she going to survive in this big bad world? She doesn't know anything of anything. And when you look at a Pisces woman, if you're a man, there will be an instant attraction towards this woman because she is ultra feminine. Right from her young age, she has this femininity that oozes out of her. She's ultra feminine. She's the doubly feminine in all the zodiac signs because Pisces is feminine energy and she's ruled by Neptune. So that make, makes her a doubly uh, feminine woman of the zodiac. And who can understand a woman? <laughs> who can understand the feminine energy? It's very difficult, it's very complex. Because she is the only woman in the zodiac who is not one, who is not two, like we see the symbol of the Pisces, but she is 12 inside of her. She is the Aries to the Pisces. So she carries all those 11 signs inside of her. So can you imagine that mixture? What it must be making out of her, inside of her? A person who is in a relationship with the Piscean is often confused. He doesn't understand her, especially if he's married to her, he doesn't understand her. Because she keeps changing. She keeps changing. She will put a Gemini to shame when she comes to her changing nature. But it's not that she's changing, it's just that she is. One day she will be airy, she will be brutally frank with you. Another day, she can be very sensual like the Taurian woman. After that, she will be extremely talkative and chatty like the Gemini woman. And she can be very nurturing, very uh, motherly with you, just like the Cancerian woman. And then she can be fighting for her rights, just like the Libra woman. She can have very you know, strong sense of judgment and fair judgment that comes from the Libra side of her so that the Libra woman inside of her takes over. Then she can also sting you like a Scorpio. She can really sting you badly like a Scorpio. If you hurt her, you will get the sting back. So you have to be very careful with that. She can sting you like a Scorpio and that sting can stay a lifetime. That is the Scorpio woman in her that makes her do that. Then she can make jokes or she can even flirt <laughs> without any, you know, like light flirting also she can do. Um, that is her Sagittarian side that is expressing itself. You know, you know, like carefree attitude completely. No, no worries about tomorrow and just carefree. Then she can be very caring towards your parents or, or her own parents, her own family members can be very, you know, good at her work and that is her Capricornian nature that she will be showing to you. Then she can be very analytical, very analytical, very cerebral and very, you know, perfectionist. That will be her Virgo side that is showing very much. And you feel like, oh, what's wrong with her? 
is it an OCD? <laughs> no, no, no. It's just a Virgo self that is expressing itself with a bit of sarcasm, a bit of, you know, uh, things like that, a bit of perfectionism that is, I want it like this and I want it like that. And you feel like, oh, oh, uh, is this the same woman I married who <laughs> was not bothered about anything at that time? And then she can also be completely dreamy. Completely vague, <laughs> dreamy, very intuitive, very spiritual. That is her Piscean self that she shows to you. Or she can be complete mystery to you. She just sits and you wonder what's this enigma in front of me. How am I supposed to solve this enigma now with all that I have seen? That is her Aquarian side showing completely, um, you know, unpredictable behavior she might show you and that is her Aquarian side that she shows that Aquarian woman inside of her is making her presence known so when you marry a Pisces woman my dear <laughs> or if you are in a relationship with a Piscean woman you have to know you have not married one woman you have married 12 women at once and you have to be really brave to deal with those 12 women because they will keep on you know all those zodiacs will keep on showing maybe in a one day she can be all that or she can you know change according to the situations she 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 exhibits all those signs inside of her and that is why she remains the most complex woman of the zodiac when you start dating a piscean woman she gives you the feeling that she just doesn't have absolutely no desire to dominate you. And she doesn't. That is her basic Piscean nature. A Piscean woman never likes to dominate her man. She will never push you or press you into, you know, in your career if things are not working fine. If you don't have a lot of money, if you don't have... Um, you know, a comfortable house or something like that. When she has given your, her heart to you, that's it. She accepts you in that way. She doesn't dominate you. In fact, she likes her man to dominate her. It's like he can really, you know, pull her out of the bed. Come, let's go. Let's eat this. Let's go there. And she lazily, she will follow him or she is just, you know, okay, fine. Because she's so much in love. She just goes and she does, does what he wants. Because when she's really in love, she will do whatever her man wants her to do. At times, even if it is wrong, she might follow him in doing something wrong just because she has given her heart to him. That's really bad, my dear Piscean woman. But this is one of your traits that you have to control. Don't follow your, your man into something which is not right. You have to put limits also. Even if you know it, you're intuitive, you know it. So she, she does that. The Piscean woman does that. She has this feeling that her father, her boyfriend, her brother, her husband or her son, they are like Superman. She has that feeling inside of her. Like they can conquer anything and they are everything and they are perfect. Even if they have lots of flaws, she will never see those flaws. She will just like worship them. She will adore them. She will not see that there are flaws in any of those men in her life. If you are in her heart, my dear, then you're a lucky man. Because she will introduce you to true love. True love. What is true love comes from Pisces. Not only Pisces. But she is the one who is embodying all these 11 other signs. So she gives this love to you. And if you lose her, I would say you are an unlucky man. Because... To get the love of a Piscean woman is very difficult, first of all. All the men, mostly, I would say, not all, but majority of the men feel a Pisces is an easy trap. You just have to hook her out of the sea. 
but I have to disappoint you my dear because it's not so completely it's the opposite in fact she is the most difficult woman to trap even if you're dating her, no guarantee that she is going to go on long with you and she will marry you. You need to really, really live up to a lot of things before she signs on those papers or says yes to your wedding ring. At times she can take, she can take, accept your proposal, but some things from the universe will tell her, no, if this is not the man, she will leave that ring and give it back to you and run away. She can be the runaway bride too. She is afraid. She is scared. And what is she scared of? She's very, very, very fragile inside of her. Even if she shows, if you see a Piscean woman, first of all, you will, it's a bit difficult to make out a Piscean woman because she hides her shyness very well. She's shy, but she hides it with her bold, independent, ice maiden outlook that you don't know what's happening inside there, which is so fragile. She can show you her brutal Aries woman that is inside of her in front of you. She can have those wise cracks time to time or she can discuss with you on very serious topics like the Virgos, like the Virgo woman does. She will discuss on serious things, very, you know, very neat, tidy, and showing that, you know, I'm strong, I'm wise. She is, of course, she's wise beyond her years. Okay, even if her face is just like that of a little girl, but, She's wise beyond her years, like a grandmother, yeah? This is why you can feel that maternal energy that comes out of her, or that girl-like, you know, <laughs> those kind of giggles that she, she, she gives out, yeah? Or the charming smile of the Libran lady that is inside of her that she exhibits time to time, yeah? So she tries to analyze and, and tries to see if the man she wants to be with is the man for her or not. If you speak to her, you will see, if you speak to um, a Piscean lady, even if you're a woman or a man or a child, you will just relax. She instantly relaxes you because she has absolutely no intention of dominating you, controlling you or judging you. She's the non-judgment zone. And then you feel she is the best woman. You want to marry her. And yes, <laughs> this is the alarm. Pring! And what's happening here? You get married to her. And then afterwards, you're in for a small shock. This lady who never wanted, this woman, this girl who never wanted to dominate you, who was so sweet, so charming, suddenly turns sarcastic, bitterly sarcastic. She can turn bitterly sarcastic like the Scorpio. And you're like, uh-uh, what happened? <laughs> you were not looking for that. She can be very quarrelsome. When she loves, she can be very quarrelsome after your marriage. If she sees things, you know, in a mess or something like that, she can become very quarrelsome with you. Or she can pick up fights just to test her Gemini nature inside of her. She will pick up fights with you. She will want to have a stimulated uh, communication with you. When it will come to romance, she will be her Piscean self completely dreamy, completely, you know, sweetly uh, in your arms. When it comes to physical love, she can become that Scorpio woman who is, you know, who just wants to devour, who just wants to love intensely, passionately her man. That's the Scorpio woman that comes up. And you are caught unaware. 
and you deserve it <laughs> because you were blinded by her charms completely. <laughs> mm -hmm. And what did you do to make her so sarcastic, to make her feel so bad? Did you say anything about her father in your conversation? Did you say something wrong about her father? Mind you, never say anything against the Piscean woman's father. That's her weakness. And she's a daddy's daughter. Most of the Piscean women are daddy's daughters. They are, they are just daddy's daughters. And their fathers also love them so much. They're very protective about their Piscean child. If you are the father of a Piscean child, you will see how this bond is going to grow deeper and deeper and how protective you will feel. When that little one comes running to you like Papa, you will feel, oh, this is the most innocent angel. And yes, this bond grows. This is a very beautiful bond that grows and it never dies unless uh, the father is a really bad man then this bond doesn't take place but most of uh, the Piscians are daddy's daughters that bond is very strong and if you my dear who is dating the Piscian or is in love with the Piscian or is um, or is um, married to a Piscian then please 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 take care when you will say something to her father, you will see all the 12 signs in their worst way coming and attacking you. Like an Aries, she is going to give it straight on your face. Brutally, she will call you the most impolite man on this earth. She will become stubborn and rigid like the Taurian lady there. I'm saying that the negatives of each sign will come up in her. Then. She will speak endlessly like a Gemini lady. She will tell you the facts from the fiction in what you said to her. Then her Leo pride inside of her is going to make you feel like a miserable, miserable man. Then like a Libra lady, she will, she will fight it out with you with the facts on your face. There, there is no, not the million dollar smile at you, okay? That is just the cold Libran self telling you what is what. This is right and this is wrong. The facts are right in front of you. You said this to my father and now you are going to get it very nicely on your face. <laughs> and then the Sagittarian self is going to insult you with bad jokes. She will make a joke out of you and she's going to insult you like that. Mm -hmm. While you are busy, red in your face, wanting to speak but just cannot speak also because it's going so fast. Each sign inside of her is just emerging and speaking and telling you things. And then she will make a disappearing act like the Aquarian woman. She will just disappear from the room. She will go in her room and she will brood like the Cancerian woman. She will brood in her room and she will cry tears. She will cry in her own sea. She will fill it up with her tears just like the Piscean woman does. And you will be feeling stung with 100 scorpions inside of you, sitting cold, frozen in your chair wondering what wrong did I do? What did I say? I just said that her father was a bit interfering. <laughs> oh my dear, I pity you. <laughs> but you deserved it because that's her God, her weakness. She can be the same with you also. Because if somebody says anything against her man, she will put them right. She will put them straight too. She might joke at the beginning and then later on she will settle her accounts with them. That's a Piscean woman. Another thing about the Piscean woman is that she goes through lots in life. She will, 
she will just go through a lot in life she can you know she can shoulder any kind of pains the thing about this woman is that she sails she sails through a lot of situations she just overcomes anything and everything in her life with great ease this is because the piscean woman's mind is quite selective it selects a lot of things because she has this ability the gift that god has given to her the divine has given her the gift to forget so she can easily forget whatever makes her heart cry you know if she has a good cry over it if she sheds a lot of tears over it after that she will just wipe her tears and she will just walk out of that situation with great ease and people will feel she doesn't have emotions she doesn't feel anything about it how can she forget this marriage this was such a bad marriage or how can she forget the death of somebody close by in her house or a family member of hers or her own child because she has that ability she just forgets inside of her she has that you know revival power she revives herself so she's a very brave woman inside of her she's a very brave woman even if she's this little girl but that little girl is very brave who knows how to go through the turmoil of life to face challenges with a smile and outside if people see her they will never be able to make out that she's in pain because this is her deceptive side she always appears happy she always appears happy to everyone and she has that ability with her love and compassion she can motivate a lot of people because she knows what it is to go through a lot of problems in life lot of turmoil in life if she has gone through that she becomes a motivator she can she can help people to come out of their problems and with very great ease she can help them because she knows what is the pain so she can be the biggest empath of the zodiac also because she feels their pain she feels the pain and she knows what the pain is all about because she has survived it at one point of time in her life with the pisces woman you will always see that she is calm serene very relaxing this is her true self when she is in that she is the calm relaxing serene very soft woman at heart so make sure you let her be like that if she is a part of your life and never lose her in your life even if you misunderstand her know that it's very complex for her own self to be herself because there are so many things inside of her that are working at all time high so be considerate to her <laughs> now as you have seen that the piscean is the two signs right uh, the two fishes one is upwards one is downwards so she is the the upward going piscean woman she is the container of wisdom and spirituality completely she understands the universe she picks up energies from everywhere she understands you without you saying anything to her she's that she's in the upstream she's a good wife she's a good lover she's a very good mother if she has more than one child or many children and one of her child is handicapped in some way then she will give that child the maximum love and compassion she loves to spoil her children so much she loves them she can spoil them with her love and if you are her father or if you are her husband or her lover or a boyfriend uh yeah of course some some people like they can have children before marriage also so uh if you are that man in her life then you have to explain to her very gently that so much love is not good for the child you can spoil the child you have to discipline also she loves to spoil them and she disciplines them also but in a very different way she has her way with her teen children also 
the teen children will feel very comfortable with their Piscean mothers. They don't feel um, judged, so they are so comfortable as if Mama is their best friend. They will tell her everything. And there is a wonderful communication that takes place between the Piscean mother and her teens. She's a homemaker. She will cook for you whatever you want. Just like the Cancerian woman, she will dust your house. She will keep it spick and span like a Virgo woman. She will have the sense of justice like the Libra woman. She will have the intensity of the Scorpio woman when she looks at you in your eyes that you burn under her gaze. She will be honest with you like the Aries woman, even if sometimes she can sound dominating or authoritative uh, like the Leo woman who wants to organize everything, but it's for a good reason. She does that with you. She'll be very hardworking like the Capricorn woman, taking care of your family as if they were her own parents. She will take care of them. When she gives you, she gives you her heart. There is nothing more. For her, it is what belongs to me belongs to you. But if you play games there with her, and if she realizes you're playing games, and she realizes it very soon, because she knows, she just knows because she is so much in connection with the other worlds and with the universe and with your own self that whatever you want to say before you say it, only she feels it inside of her. She's so receptive to your energies. She will know it if you're playing, if you're flirting with her, if you're playing with her, she will know it. If you're cheating on her also, she will know it. But she will try to avoid thinking of you like that because for, for her, you are everything to her. So she doesn't want to think because it's very, uh, it, it gives her insecurity inside of her to, to feel that her man can do something wrong because she trusts you. And when she feels that you are not behaving right, then you are the most miserable man because then she turns cold. She'll not be angry. Of course, at times she can be extremely bombastic and she'll explode everything in her anger, but she will just turn cold like an ice block. She turns cold. No warmth at all. And you feel, what is this creature? What is this being inside of me? In, in front of me, sorry, in, in front of me. What is this? You're completely unaware of what has happened. So unpredictable she can be at times. So unpredictable. You must have heard many times a Piscean woman who says, I just don't need a man in my life. I don't need a man. I no need a husband. I am independent. I can go on with my life all alone. It's a big lie. Because more than she needs to breathe, eat or live, she needs to belong to someone. This ultra feminine woman needs to belong to that ultra masculine man. She needs to find that Mars. She needs to find her partner. Because Inside of her is a little girl's world who is growing up and who is dreaming of having a home, who dreams of the man. <laughs> Many a times it's funny dreams because she dreams of him coming uh, on a horseback and carrying her away, sweeping her off her feet. Yeah, this is what is an, it is the Piscean woman. She's a girl inside of her. She dreams of him. She dreams of having those strong shoulders on which she can lean on when she's feeling down and which comfort her, that man she needs in her life so much. But she completely covers it by saying, who needs it? See the contradiction, see the complexity in this Piscean woman's heart. She can contradict herself, her feelings, what she wants. She will say, I don't want it. But she wants it inside, but she cannot express it that way. So she needs a man who understands that inner little girl who is a bit 
timid, shy to express her feelings, she needs a man to understand that little girl which is inside of her. And then when you have found her and when she is your wife, your partner next to you, when she just looks into your eyes, you feel as if you're looking into the eyes of a dove, so loving, so caring. And she just, with her action, she shows you, she puts her head on your chest and you are reading a storybook to her or you're reading something and she's just making you feel as if you were the strongest man on this earth and so much she's happy to be there. And then she goes to sleep right next to you and when you look at her, you see this little girl sleeping no matter what is her age be it one year old, be it some months old, be 20, 30, 60, 80, 90, 100, whatever her age. When you see her sleeping, you see, this is the little girl, the Piscean girl, all woman, all girl, a thousand percent little girl who is sleeping there. And you don't know, you feel maybe sometimes she's lazy, but she's never lazy because the bison mind works 24 on 7. Because when she sleeps or when she's lazily lying down, she is actually creating something. She's getting in touch with the other worlds that you have no idea about. Just she's sailing in the universe in the depth of her sea of emotions. She's sailing, she's creating something there. She's receiving messages, she's sending messages to the universe. She's manifesting, she has that magic of manifesting. Take care, one thing I have to tell you about a Piscean woman, never, never, never make her so angry that she curses you because when she curses, ah, you can really add that curse on you. She has the power to curse and she has the tremendous power to manifest. When she manifests, it happens. So, my dear Piscean woman, if you're a Piscean woman, please don't curse anyone because it does happen. When you say something bad to someone who has hurt you and in your anger when you say something, they get destroyed. So, try not to do that. Use it constructively, my dear Piscean woman. She just manifests and you will see even if she doesn't have a lot of money, whatever it is, this Piscean woman always she doesn't understand economics at all, bad at maths many a times, or a good mathematician also. Again, the contradiction is there. And she manages to dress up like a movie star. When people look at her, they will feel, wow. And in any dress, she carries herself with a lot of style and a lot of elegance. She can look like a bad woman and she can look like a queen or she can look like the otherwise. This is the magic of the Piscean woman. She is 11 plus 1, <laughs> her own self, in one body. And her mind is all those 12 signs. So when you're marrying or when you are dating a Piscean woman, consider her as 12 women in one woman. And one magic a <laughs> key that I would like to give you to her heart is she doesn't need your money, she doesn't need your name, fame, she doesn't need that. That is immaterial for her, very immaterial for her. All she needs is your attention. She needs your care and she needs your love. She needs your protective strong arms around her that protect her and that she feels so fine then she will be your little girl always and you can be the man who rules <laughs> and she doesn't say a word about it she's just happy to be protected and comforted by you so that was about a Piscean woman so much of complexity in this one woman and to deal with all these uh, 12 women in one woman, you have to be the real man. <laughs> so if you are going for a Piscean woman, know that you will have to go <laughs> through a variety 
every day you will feel, oh, this is a new wife, this is a new wife for me. But all in all, you will be happy with her, handle her complexity with a lot of care. She's fragile because once her heart breaks, then there is nothing you can do about it. She will just walk out of your life. No matter how many days, how many months, how many years you have been with her, she will just walk out of your life, never to return back. And yes, there are many other men who want her outside. So protect your Piscean woman, cherish her. She's your treasure. And my dear Piscean woman, as I told you, you have that magic of manifestation. So manifest it for your loved ones also, whatever they want. And be in connection with your spirituality. Be that grandmother, wisdom, wise woman. But don't lose your girl nature that you always are until the day of your death. So thank you very much, my dear friends, for listening to this complex woman of the Zodiac video. <laughs> And please do let me know, share your views, your comments, and um, I shall see you next time with another video. Until then, take good care of yourself, lots of love, and God bless. Bye-bye. Take care. Bye.